All right, YouTubers, come back with another video. Got another kind of special edition knife here. Kind of been uh, this is what I've been buying. This is a Microtrek Ultratech, and this is called the Memento Mori. And you'll see why here in a second when I deploy this blade. And it's got the Hellhound, what they call the Hellhound grind. Got a false edge up here. It is a little sharp actually. And then you've got a wicked, wicked Tanto on this with the. Um, I just want to call them serrations here, and then the holes in the blade. You can see it here on the blade it says Memento Mori, and what that is, that's a Latin saying uh, that was used um, by Roman soldiers. And it typically had a skull or some sort of um, representation, uh, and it's just a kind of reminder of mortality. Um, it actually technically means remember that you have to die. Um, Common in ancient Rome, a general came back victorious from battle and during his parade or triumph received compliments and honors from the crowd of citizens. He ran the risk of falling victim to haughtiness and delusions and grandeur. To avoid it, a slave stationed behind him would say, Respis posti, um, hominem te momento, look after you to the time after your death. And remember you are only a man. So it was kind of a, a, a reminder that they were just mortal and only a man and they could die. So pretty cool. Uh, Microtech's been killing it lately with these special editions like the uh, Spartans and the Star Wars. Get out the bounty hunter here. Um, I love the Ultra Tech. It's great, you know, design out front. Um, I can carry out, out the fronts where I live, so I carry uh, this one quite often. Not that one, excuse me. This one quite often. Um, these two are pretty new. The the Star, Star Wars ones have been collectors for me. They haven't seen much use. Um, I don't know that I've even carried this one yet either, but I probably will. I think I actually have carried it um, a few times, but a really cool limb edition. Again, you can buy two of these, and it's kind of like the Spartan where it has the skull, and then you buy the other one, and then it completes the heart, and or the spade with the skull, and then the crossbones. So, pretty cool. Just that grind, though, is what's impressive on this thing, man. Just insane. They used to only do the Hellhound grind on the, um, I think it was the Combat Trudons and some of their customs some of their custom out the fronts and so it was really cool to see them offer the um, Hellhound in a more affordable package um, just a sick blade I mean look at that thing it's just gnarly compound tanto grind got that apocalyptic finish on it it's stupid sharp definitely a different tanto than the uh, Spartan that's more of a traditional tanto American tanto this has got more of a curve kind of more like a I believe a uh, Japanese Tanto is more like this. I could be wrong on that. Just a sweet blade. So just wanted to kind of showcase a few of the knives I've got in lately. I haven't done knife videos for a while. Um, that'll probably be changing here soon. But, you know, there's just kind of been a lull lately in the knife world about new knives coming out. Um, this is one of my newest acquisitions. And then those ZTs I did just recently. Um, but this, you know, was really cool. One thing I wish they would have done on this one, though, they used the old style... Um, window window breaker glass breaker i like and i actually switched this one because this one had that kind too i switched this off one of my star wars knives i like the new rounded um carbide tip that come on the uh the uh tri-grip ultra tax and there's some of the and a lot of the star wars knives had these and i wish they would have done that i don't know why they didn't do it on these ones because these ones are much more pointier so when you carry them it kind of stabs your hand and stuff you can actually get a screw to replace that or you can possibly even order one of these style from Microtech. I mean, look, this Boba Fett bounty hunter has that kind too, so. Really cool variation. I just wanted that hell that Hellhound grind. And, uh, you know, it was pretty cool with the skull and the Memento Mori. When I looked up with that man, I thought that was pretty neat, so. Very cool variation by Microtech. They're just killing it lately, putting out all these limited editions, being very creative in their um, offerings. So, very collectible, these Ultratechs are, for sure. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.